Okay, this is Spirit Light, and we are in Jacksonville, Florida. We're doing a very challenging case tonight. It involves a family member who had committed suicide, in addition to an ex-associate who was apparently involved in Santeria, and a lot of really uh, dark things going on, such as growling in the house. We've been called here to bless the house, and Reverend Winnie and I are going to do our very best to try to help these people in to purify and clear their area. So, come along, let's see what's going on. In this room, or we weren't in the room, you had a baby monitor, there was a child sleeping in the room, and you were in another room and you were able to hear something that sounded like growling. Yes, yeah. um, my, my, our grandson, right my grandson yeah. was okay. sleeping in here in his crib. He was just less than a year old. Okay. And a baby monitor up here, there was no TV at the time. Right. It was just a little baby monitor up here and we were in bed and we heard this really low gro groan cluttural sound guttural guttural yeah, yes. sound and it was very very deep and it's a very long okay so um, and then it happened mm. like two or three times spirits just to let you know whoever you may be that's here um we're here to communicate with you you can use this box to speak to us this, you can light up for yes or no all the way over is yes, nothing is no. And you can communicate with us. We're going to be taking pictures of you and videotape also because we're trying to determine if you're here, why you're here, what do you need, why are you in this house, do you have a message for these people who live here, and how can we help you. So just use this. This has a dictionary in it, if you're here. How long ago was it that you had this happen with the, um, the growling? Oh, four years ago. Yeah, it's four been years. a while. Okay, oh, so it's been a while. Ago. So they could be long gone by now, but it's yeah. it's good to check it out, because that's something important. And we didn't hear anything, I mean, yeah, I mean, it clearly came from the baby monitor. Yes. Okay. What did he say? It's not like it said original. Are you the original owners of this house? I am, yeah. Yes. Quick, quickly. Quickly. Story. Okay. Tell us your story. What is your story? Why are you... Short. Is there a grandfather in spirit? Yes. Because I'm, I'm, I'm picking up that, that kind of energy and I'm feeling um, also that. Meryl, Melly, Mom, and you're at. Hi, baby. Do you see them? I have just chilled with them down the body. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, were, you, were you checking on the baby? Aware. Program. Aware. Guy Master. Guy, Guy Master. That's what they call him. It's the weirdest thing, but they always do. Um, God Master? Guide Master. Guide Master. Because of the fact that he's a guide to so many, but they consider him a high level. Because he's, that's what I was thinking about, they're doing the clearing and blessing. Um, is, was, is this grandparent someone that you were close to, that we would be able to speak with and find out? Um, yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, and was there cancer involved? Run. No. No. He, for, for him? No. He did not. I'm picking up on someone with cancer right now. Um, and as a grandfather? If, if not necessarily a grandparent. Uh, right now I'm just picking up on, they just told me cancer, so I don't know who I'm dealing with. There's, uh, they're all talking to me at one time, there's a bunch here. Mm -hmm. um, well, my father died of cancer. Okay. Nodule. Nodule. Um, Sorry. Okay. 
So, do you have a message for them as to why you're here? Something you want to say? Biden, and if so, why are you staying outside? Talking. Talking. Do you not feel comfortable coming inside? Are you not invited? Adjust. Happier. Adjust. Happier. Adjust. Happier. All right. They're adjusting. This person felt um, not Sundries. accepted. Cleansing. Cleansing. Yes, we're going to do a cleansing. And so what, what they're doing is this person is adjusting to being dead, basically, and trying to heal over the things that were so bad in life yeah. that have made them feel like not part of anything and not accepted and not happy and not loved and just very depressed. Yeah. Um, and they're watching from outside. They're like, they're not coming in. Um, I just feel them. I just feel them out there. Is it a man or a woman? It's a man. Uncle. Seven. Just said uncle. Are you away? You have a, um, um, an uncle? Yes, it's now. Good. Sadly, I'm by the way. By the way. So you live far away? The uncle? He would be the uncle of the child who was sleeping in there. Okay. Well, if I knew he was. Okay with. There was, there was something that was like right between you two. For a minute I thought it was part of the a glare, but when I moved it, it, it didn't go back. It almost looked like a little shape, like a little angel wings, like a butterfly. Uh -huh. It's like right there where the cat is now. I went over to her and then it went right back to you and then it disappeared. Oh, no, that, no it just was showed up above both of you. Uh, I just came went and went into your your chest, Diane. <clears throat> well, I, th I think in life that you know um, we have these issues, and sometimes we can't resolve them, and the pain becomes too great. And in order to stop the pain we make a sudden a decision that's going to be final. And then there's more pain for those left behind to deal with. There's the lack of closure, there's a, the finality, the pain of all of that that is the legacy that you left behind. And so if you'd like to speak about oh, that, are you, does that upset you to see no. people? Suffering. This is all I have here on this shelf. Um, a lot of it. And, uh, okay. So that's why he wanted us to come in here. And that's why he was telling me about the pictures. Yeah. This is okay. my honor to him and to my. And the song is beautiful. It's very purifying. Metalene. With us. I, but no I think he wants permission to be accepted. To be able to come in and to be part of the family again. And to be remembered for the better times when he was happy and, and uh, the energy was good. He had the most amazing personality. He was 
very like intense, passionate type of individual. Oh, absolutely. Um, picking up very strong energy. And um, <clears throat> but with people like that, the pain is so much greater also. You know, whenever you have that intense passion about things in life, then you also suffer more than others who don't have that emotion. It's a remarkable human being and somebody I loved and looked up to my of course. entire life. Of so course. The last few years. And then when he was gone, I just, I, I, I couldn't let him go. I mean, not really. I have an installed here, I have an yeah. in here, I'm just extremely protective of that. Well, you know, whenever you deal with someone leaving, I mean, what, even if they die a natural death, it's, it's so much sadness involved. There's always the thoughts of, I wish I would have spent more time, I wish there were things we could have done differently or said or done differently. You know, can we, can we go back? And of course, what happens when when they go is they're able to, to go into a place where they're able to understand uh, some of the things they went through, they can have a clearer perspective and they begin to heal. Um, and if they gain the acceptance and forgiveness, self-forgiveness included, to, to cross over, and they're able to come back and they're lighter and they don't have that heaviness and they don't have that pain. And then they're able to be a guide and, and like a guardian angel at times to come visit you and to help you when you're when you're suffering, and that's that's what he's working on. Um, his hardest thing is his, is his self forgiveness because he feels like he you know he let everybody down, as, including himself. Um, and it there's no you know he can't do anything about that. It's very frustrating for him. He's he said he was a fixer. He liked to fix things. He liked to make things better. And now, you know, he can't make it better because he he's not here to make it better. Not physically, anyway. And he's, um... Very now. Yes. You know about this stuff, huh? Oh, no. This is paranormal. This is paranormal, yeah, this is what we use for paranormal cases, going, um, going on our cases. All this equipment, you can use all this to talk to us so they can hear you or see you. That would make them happy. But we need you to feel comfortable coming in. There's definitely some negative energy we don't want in, but that does not pertain to family members at all. Yeah. Diane's already, already said that. Protect, protector, very yes. protective, very protective, and that's why I felt like that when he said sentry earlier that he's you know he watches also the perimeter of your property. Um, I, I do feel um, kind of a dark a darkness coming from, and the individual you know feels to me like a shorter person, uh, dark complected, straight you know straight hair. Um, with the one he has, he has he has that fast way of talking, and I, I just feel a negative negativity like anger. Yeah, like he, no, he wasn't Japanese. He was. The dark, dark skin and just, but short. Does this represent the person that, that you were a former father-in-law thinking of? Because I just feel anger um, directed, and, and whenever you have that, um, yes. So okay, so it's good to know it's not, not elemental; it's human. But he just sent some negative energy, uh, and I, I feel like that. It, disrupt, it disrupted, and it was like dominoes. It kind of like affected so many things. And um, so we're gonna, <coughs> we're gonna do a blessing, and what we're gonna do? Do you have any sea salt by chance? No. Okay. Um, we'd like to use sea salt in doing the blessing, and it really has to come from your intent and your strength 
to protect your own home and your own, you know, your own boundaries. And, and what we do is we sprinkle it, you know, around. Talking. Yes, we're talking. We're anything can come in or out, and you say only the highest and best is allowed here. No negative energy is allowed here. And you just do it with all the strength that you, you know, and the intent that you have. And um, you know, we'll we'll be doing the blessing as well, and it just the combined effort of that is going to help. But I, I think that the doorway in was the, you know, the sadness and the mixed emotions of still being somewhat angry at the person. And I don't say angry, but frustrated. But we've had kind of a downward, you know, just from very serious accidents to um, just that started a before. death. That's uh, yeah, that started before, before but yeah. he, he was on a downward spiral, yeah. spiral and very negative and very dark several years before he left. Um, well, and by the time, and he but when he came, when he came up here, that's about the time that, that, that everything started. Yeah, that's true. Well, dark attachments like to attach themselves to people that are in um, a lot of pain or, you know, like I was telling you, are weak in some way, you know, physically fit, uh, ill or Mommy. mentally ill. Mommy. Is there a child here? Are you seeing anything, Wendigo? Hmm? Are you seeing anything? I haven't seen anything Memories. since that one. Memories. So tell me about this shorter, shorter, dark, collected, um, fast-talking, angry type of individual that was very vindictive and very demanding. Um, I, don't, I don't know of anybody like that. Uh, let me turn this down for a second. I'm going to turn you off for a second because I want to hear what she has to say. I'm, I'm in, are we sure it's a male? Um, because I'm not so sure that might be my mother. Well, this person is short. But your mother's alive. But my mother's alive. But I don't speak with her. I don't speak with her since this funeral. Um, was is she dark complected? Does she talk fast? This is a fast she's, talking person. She's not dark complected. Yeah, she doesn't really talk fast either. But okay, that's the person that I'm, that I'm seeing that the negativity is really emanating from is this shorter person with dark, dark complected and just very fast talking and demanding. And I feel like this is something like. Um, a friendship gone bad, or a relationship that went bad at some point. Um, Is this towards her or towards me? Either, either or, because I feel like it's directed toward, because it would be directed toward both of you because of how close you are. Short, dark, complected. Mm -hmm. That's passed on? Not necessarily. I, I got that information from the, the spirits that are here. Is it someone you used to work with? Uh, that could be very possible. I mean, because I, I mean, I just feel like that this this person was angry, a lot of anger, and uh, directed toward you, and I and I feel like that anger manifested itself in in unfortunate unfortunate well, events. I, I do know of someone who did dark hair and not really short but very very much um, hate and dislike for me and her name is Barbara and I think she's still living would be Lauren's mom Clyde's ex-wife oh. but um, she had a lot of bad things in her life and I'm sure she wished in the morning well, I, I'm pretty sure it was your brother Tommy, so maybe she was shorter than him. I don't know. She would be shorter than him. Yeah, well, he's okay. pretty tall. But. Was he really tall? Because I, I don't know. Okay, so he's saying just 
he's just, um, I'm, just he, I'm listening, and he's just telling me, and he's saying there was just like a lot of dark energy coming from that source, and that This person's really powerful with it. Yep, it just came again. This time it came right down here. Okay. Because it's the same one. And well, it's not round. It's more like a... Uh, it's long. Okay. Yep. This is... It's like... Oh, you're coming right, right to the camera. Uh, it's like right there. Where are you going? Well, that'd be well, it's like right there. Don't worry, we'll turn the PX back on. We're just talking for a minute. Um, what's really interesting about this? Now, is a, that is the first time. It basically was kind of like it was dancing in front of the camera, and now it just disappeared.